Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike from nonprofitproductive.com and today we're going to be looking at a very little feature inside of TickTick. You know, work can be mundane enough. The email, the interruptions, the meetings, I mean just you name it, work can be a drain. It can be a drag and so you don't want your tools, your productivity tools to be ordinary and boring also. You want them to be fun. You want them to make life a little bit easier and some apps allow you to go with the dark mode or the light mode, the system settings. Maybe there's some themes inside of it but one app in particular, TickTick, allows you to customize both your theme and also the placement of your buttons within your theme, which I think is really incredible. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the iOS version on my phone specifically and how you can customize both the location of your ad button and the theme that you're choosing to use. I hope you enjoy it. Inside of TickTick, you're going to be greeted by a number of things. I have it set to start me out of my inbox. In the bottom right of my screen, I have my to-do list, my calendar, and the ability to set up Pomodoro. I can change all of that, but one thing you might not know about TickTick is you can actually change two other things. The location of your Magic Plus button, which is just simply adding an item, or if you were to hold it down, it starts out with a voice recorder, testing one, two, three, and turns that into a to-do list, which is very nice, or an item in your inside of your to-do list. But did you know that you can also change the location of your Magic Plus button by simply pushing on it very lightly, because you don't want to trigger your voice recorder, and dragging it to the left? How cool is that? So if I'm a lefty, if I just prefer an item on the left, I can do that. If I want it on the right, I can do that. Very cool. Now, you'll notice that I have this sort of blue and tangerine theme going on. When I open the sidebar, you see my uh, home screen there, or my background. By going into settings, I can click on appearance, activate any number of these different themes, such as green or orange, true black, white, etc. Or if I like some of these city series, which I do not, if you go all the way to the bottom, past the photos, you can click on custom. And you might be thinking, well, what is this? This is the coolest thing ever. So let's say I don't like that blue and white kind of wash background. I want to change it to a photo of, I don't know, maybe my dog. It's going to download there. There he is. He's kind of adorable. I'm going to choose it. It will blur him. And then I can add some customization on what do I want my color to be? And TickTick just knows some of the colors that might look nice with that. That's pretty cool. Now, maybe I don't really like that photo. I just want to, I don't know, something different. Maybe I want a photo of this sneaker here that I saw when I was shopping today. I can have that. And again, TickTick knows there's some grays in there. Maybe blue might be nice. Okay. And you'll notice that the background text is set to light. I could also make it dark. And if I add more here, click on more, I can either decrease or increase the opacity, the blurriness, and how transparent or opaque the card is. This is a pretty fantastic feature inside of TickTick. I don't think there's another app that has this same level of customization. I think it's really attractive, it's fun. The only negative, is that on iOS uh, or on iPad OS, you have to set this manually. And the only other negative is that this feature has not yet come to the Mac or to the web. But hey, kudos to TickTick for allowing this level of creativity. All right, there you go. A little nerdy, I know, a little detail inside of TickTick, but I hope that this makes work a little bit more fun in your everyday nonprofit work. I also just want to mention before I sign off that you can get a brand new resource that we have. It's called the six item checklist that every nonprofit leader needs. Just head on over to my website, nonprofitproductive.com. You'll see the button, you know what to do, and I'd love to send that to you. Thanks very much.